Good evening. Today we meet again, and this time I would like to test some tubes. You know, it is very easy to get tubes from the open market, but it is very hard to understand the quality of the tube. You can easily buy tubes from online shop like eBay or any other marketplace like I have a bunch of the tubes here from Sylvania and some of them from GE which is probably the same with the Sylvania as well and this one it has like a triple mica one two, three, and yeah, a lot of differences across this tube and it is not easy to understand the quality. So what I'm trying to do is today, I will be testing this tube with my U-Tracer here. So this is my U-Tracer. Is you treasure actually able to test the tube uh, with a pulse signal? It has capability up to a thousand fold. This is the newest version from Ronald Drecker, the creator. This one has capability up to like one uh, ampere of current and a thousand fold of voltage. And so far, I'm quite happy with the build quality. I built the first gen tree, which is only up to 300, uh, 400 volts, but I purchased the newer version with a thousand volt capability, and so far, I'm quite happy with it. So, it is very straightforward. Uh, we need to connect this U Tracer to your PC with the USB interface here, and then after that, uh, we need to give the power supply. Uh, it's a 19 volt you can get from typical notebook power adapters or in my case I'm using dedicated power supply so let me move my screen a bit to show my power supply this is my power supply running at 19.5 volts on the left side and on the right side I use to supply the filament of the tube that I'm going to test in this case with like 12 AU series it will be using 6.3 volts and I give a bit of extra 0.1 volts because the cable usually will have some resistance and drop the voltage a bit so yeah basically this is my dedicated power supply which I use to power up my U tracer and also my tube uh, in, uh, that will be tested. Okay, so let's start. So actually very simple. When you want to uh, test this kind of tube, you need to make sure that you have the data sheet of the tube. In this case, we would like to test this tube. Uh, Raytheon 5814 This is the equal with the 12AU7 tubes So we can use 12AU7 tubes datasheet in order to test this tube Okay, uh, how to read the tube actually very straightforward we have a data sheet of example Tungsol 5814 uh, tubes and from the data sheet we can see actually this tube in the typical operating voltage it will be running at 250 volts in here we can see that at the 250 volt, 
and a grid voltage of minus 8.5 volt the flat current should be about 10.5 milliamps and the transconductance will be about 2002 and the amplification factor about 17 right so by reading this kind of uh, data sheet we can start testing our tubes with the same parameters so if the tubes actually are uh, able to show the same or similar parameters with this data sheet so we can have some basic assumption then the tube is very close to a new condition so without further ado let's power up the tube and start testing it so first what we are trying to do is let's find the tube here the right here and then let's start plugging in to the tube socket like this we can see on my power supply uh, we can see the current set at 36 360 350 milliamps and then we can see that the voltage about 6.4 and we can see here the filament start to glow I hope you can see it let me make it a bit darker so you can see the filament start to heat up so very simple that maybe we can wait the filament to kind of heat up the temperature first so we, it might take a while before we test the tube so you can see here the filament is glowing let me try to zoom it more yeah the filament is glowing so we can we can give a bit like one minute warming up to make sure that the tube has reached the good temperature at the same time the testing result should be more stable and then meanwhile I also will show you the power supply so you can see here the power supply the tube is drawing 350 milliamps at 6.4 volts okay well, let's bring back okay so let's go to the application here the u tracer 6.1 so some of you might be asking what is this right this is not a laptop not a pc but basically it's a bare bone uh, i use from the second hand i built from the second hand laptop i tear down all the 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 chassis right and then i just use the acrylic uh, put the lcd put the motherboard on the back so it just simply like that i think it, it's good because i need to have some uh smaller space right in, in 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 the table so basically this is what we have so to test it let's click the heater on first here and then let's just do a quick test so we can see again in the data sheet if you still remember we need to set 250 for the fold here 250 and then the grid voltage if you still remember again we should be setting at 8.5 and then let's put the name 5814 right here cool so let's start testing take a test it will take a while before the result will be there right so we need to define it first because like in here we are seeing 10.5 milliamps should be at the hundred percent approximate so we also need to put here like 10.5 uh, as a hundred percent level same here okay so we start test again 
see the tubes running at 98 and 101 percentage. This tube is very close uh, the first triode and second triode and is considerably quite match. So yeah, this is basically a good tube. We can use another test to check. Sometimes I repeat the test few times, but normally again, the result is quite consistent. 98 and 101. So next what I'm going to do is I will remove the tube and then I will try with the other tubes. You can see here, I'll remove the tube. It's not too hot, but still I use the small tissue to remove the tubes. And then let's try the other tube, where is that? This one. It's again another Raytheon 5814, same. Let's plug it in. Let's again do the same thing. Let's wait for a couple of minutes before we start testing it. Okay, after waiting for a while, let's start the new one and then we can see uh, the same interface here but let's put the name right down to same 10.5 milliamps as 100 percent and then same same testing numbers 250 and minus 8.5 of grid voltage so let's go So this tube actually even better a bit, measure about 104 and 108. So let's try it again. So it's even closer, 104, 107, with the result showing 11.2 and 10.9. This one is also very close between the triodes. And then let me pull up the previous result. If we see here, this is the first tube, it's uh, showing 10.3 and 10.5, this one showing 11.2 and 10.9. So I think in general, the tubes actually pretty good, both in strong condition. And again, this tube probably, if we are saying about 5% tolerance, I think this one should be within that level. A tube is definitely an old technology, right? You might not be expecting this tube to be like a 1% level of matching. It's almost impossible, right? But I think within 5 to 10% of tolerance, we can see here between both, both tubes and also between like the, the first triode, second triode, it's showing this tube is really in a good shape. So yeah, basically that's what uh, I'm trying to share today. So hope uh, it will give you a good kind of understanding on how we should be testing tubes. And then at the same time, uh, it will be like a very interesting that for some of you who might have interest with this kind of tubes uh, to, to try and exploring. Because in my experience, when you have a good tubes, match right uh, between both triodes and also between the two tubes it will be like uh, better in terms of the matching between the channel it doesn't necessarily that that accurate right but still with kind of a better tubes and and you understand the quality of it you are not buying something that but sometimes it's, it's really hard to tell even like this tube you can see here it's, it's pretty, pretty good tubes. This one I bought from Japan. Let me see if I can zoom it out a bit. This is, if we see the box, it is like, it's not too expensive. I bought it like 3,005 yen long time back. It is 5814 
Toshiba, but the label should be Matsuda. Matsuda, they call it Matsusita and Toshiba. And this is the logo. I think it's not easy to, to see, right, this logo. This is unique logo. I hope you can see it. It's a bit hot to see. Yeah, this is the logo. I'm not sure if you can see the logo. Yeah, this is the logo, actually Matsuda. Not too expensive, but I, I think this is kind of good quality. With a triple Mika and two side support here and here. And quite unique getter as well. It's a square, I think, D getter. Quite unique tube, black plates. And yeah, sometimes you never know. You just buy tube, it's not expensive, but sometimes you don't know the quality. It, it might be good, it might be bad, but without testing this kind of tube, it's hard for you to judge. Physical appearance, price-wise, is, is, is cheap, but you don't know. Same like the other tube, I also like to buy some old Toshiba tubes. 12 AU7 high S. This one is quite expensive actually. But yeah, again, it does not guarantee anything until you test it. So many tubes out there with a lot of different quality. And even this one, I bought it quite matched with the same kind of code 301 30920 high S version. High S means the high standard. But again, you need to test it in order to make sure you know the quality before you plug it to your system. Unless you, you just simply believe, right? This is another 12AU7 tube from Toshiba. High S as well. I, I got it from I think from a local market, but I don't I don't know the, the, the testing result. Sometimes you see from the pin itself, it's really hard hard to judge. The pin may be a bit rusty, right? A bit, they have some corrosion here. Although that's not a big problem, you can clean up. But sometimes you can see maybe this one is used because in general, you can see half of the pin actually clean and half of them may be a bit kind of corroded. It means that probably this one actually removed from the working equipment which before it was plugged, of course, and used. Yeah, a lot of sign that, again, it might be showing that the tubes actually used or new, but again, without testing it, it's, it's very hard for anyone to really assess the quality. So, that's it for now. So, I think we will meet again next time with new other projects. So, thank you for watching. See you. Bye-bye.